perhaps no other fort in India evokes the emotions this one does. Every Indian would have heard of Chittorgarh and its legends of brave hearts, romance and chivalry. This fort is a symbol of valour and it is historic. Chittorgarh gets its name from Chitrangad Maurya, a local ruler who founded the fort around 400 CE. It reached its present form and the heights of its glory between the 14th and the 16th centuries under the rule of the Sisodias of Mewar. Located on a hill around 590 feet in height and spread over 700 acres, Chittorgarh is approached through a zigzag ascent of more than a kilometre. The fort is protected by seven impregnable gates and thick walls. The most iconic monument here is the Vijay Stamba, built in 1448 by the greatest of Chittor's rulers, Rana Kumbha, to commemorate his victories over the combined armies of the Gujarat and the Malwa Sultanates. Near the Vijay Stamba is the palace of Rana Kumbha, where his grandson, Rana Uday Singh, the founder of Udaipur, was said to have been born. Near the palace is the Mira Mehel, the residence of Rana Kumbha's granddaughter-in-law, Mirabai, who would gain fame as one of the most famous bhakti saints in India. Originally from Mirta, around 273 kilometers from Chittorgarh, in the present-day Nagaur district of Rajasthan, Mirabai lived a part of her life in Chittorgarh before moving to Vrindavan in present-day Uttar Pradesh. The locals believe that Mirabai prayed at this very temple, which is now famous as the Mirabai Temple. This reservoir, known as the Gomukkun, was the source of Chittor's strength. The water supply from this reservoir helped the fort withstand enemy sieges for years at end. The most famous and well-known of Chittorgarh's monuments is the Rani Padmini Mahal, a 19th century palace which is said to have been built over an older building. This is said to have been the residence of the famous Rani Padmini of Chittor, who stood up against the Delhi Sultan Alauddin Khilji. She is immortalized in legend and literature. Chittorgarh also boasts of numerous other monuments, such as the 7th century Sun Temple, the 12th century Kirti Stamba dedicated to Jain Tirthankar Adinath, and the Fateh Prakash Palace built by Maharaja Fateh Singh in 1920s, which is now a museum. With the establishment of Udaipur in 1559 by Maharana Uday Singh and the shifting of the capital there, Chittorgarh lost its political importance. However, the glory of Chittorgarh still lives on in the lores and legends and in the walls and monuments of this great fort that has stood witness to history. Mm -hmm.